are in good company this morning. That's right, I've got Aaron in the kitchen and we're doing a fantastic uh, vegetarian creamy dish with a difference as well, aren't we? So what are we going to cook today? So yeah, it's basically a creamy pasta dish and we've got uh, caramelised mushrooms and spinach to go with it. And so what we're doing is using cashews to give a creamy character fantastic, to the dish. Fantastic, yeah. And we've got this ingredient here as well. Yes, yeah, so that's quickly. savoury yeast. This is probably the most unusual ingredient, but savoury yeast is like a very um, action-packed, sort of vitamin-packed, um, made from yeast that's kind of dried with a bit of salt, and it gives a really savoury taste to anything that's like a cheesy character. So that's where we're going to get the, sort of the cheesy flavour yeah, from. Yeah, that with the cashews together. Yeah. That's going to be great. So stick around, see that a little bit later. Now it's over to Mel. Thank you very much, Holly. Here we are in the cafe kitchen, and look who is joining us back again, Aaron. Good to see you. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so quite a big life change has been going on for you in the past few years. That's isn't true. It? Yeah, after MasterChef, I pretty much reassessed everything and uh, started from scratch. And I decided to go vegan two and a half years ago. Yeah. And How's so, it been? Uh, really good, actually. Yeah? It's been the best thing. I feel like I've got a real sense of purpose now, and that's right. just what I was missing before. And it's fantastic to have that. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic to have you here, and we're going to learn you. a bit more about some of the challenges that are going on. Yeah. Oh, uh, because it is Vegetarian Month, isn't it? That's right, yes. Yeah. So I'm an ambassador for SAFE's uh, Eat Kind program. Nice. Which is basically about being like kind to our health, kind to the environment, and kind to animals. Brilliant. And so food like this to me is fantastic. It tastes really good, and it's got that like creamy cashews uh, to make a creamy taste, but it's also like really good for you and really just um, quite different to the old fashioned kind of way of eating. Good all round, everybody. Yeah. So let's get going. Mark's cool. been busy chopping up some onions. What are we making? We're <laughs> so, making creamy feta chili. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is do like a, a creamy sauce. So we're going to just sort of sweat down some onions and some garlic. Yes. And that's going to then go into the blender with cashews, um, that savoury yeast that we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. and a uh, little bit of lemon, which actually sort of takes the cashew taste a way to make it just like a neutral taste. Brilliant. And then we'll have uh, also a bit of uh, Dijon mustard and yep. a bit of salt and pepper. Nice work. How are you going there, Mark? Are you like, do, you, oh, do you do much vegan cooking? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you wait till you like taste this. Much to, <laughs> to, to go completely vegan. Cake, butter, salt, cream. I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those. So I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, this downfalls is... of being a chef. <laughs> no, but this is a good way oh, to do it. It's good, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and very interesting as well, because we're going to do like a creamy, cheesy sauce without any cream or cheese. So that's going to be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. with these ingredients, the combination of the ingredients. Well, that's the thing, and I've cooked this for a few people now. What they say is it's got that creamy taste, but you don't get left feeling heavy afterwards. Great. So I think that's really good. You know, yeah. Like that. yeah. Yeah, nice. This is kind of like a very family-friendly dish. Love um, it. And you can do a lot of things with cashews like that, like a butter chicken sauce too, just okay. with, you know, with spices and stuff instead of um, how we're doing it today. But cashews are kind of awesome, and especially with that nutritional yeast, they give a real cheesy character, which is a great trick. So. Jeez, I can sense the change in you, actually. You know, you're just, <laughs> yeah. you're, I guess when you change your lifestyle and you change your approach to the way you view cooking yeah. and the way you eat, it can have some overwhelming benefits, as you said, for everybody. So yeah, this yeah. vegetarian challenge yeah. that you're running with SAFE. So the key thing about that to me is like, you know, a lot of people like me, like I, I, I went vegan because of the environment. I watched that movie Cowspiracy, and that sort of right. spells out the environmental impact of how we do farming, which is like quite an inefficient way to grow food. Right. And so when I watched that, and I thought, this is something I can do that makes a real difference in my life. But the thing is, most people have been brought up eating in a particular way, a lot of meat and all that kind of stuff, and they just right. don't know what to do. Nice. So SAFE's got this challenge where you can go on there and just try it for a bit, you know? Just nice. like maybe um, the challenge itself is for six weeks, but you don't have to do that whole thing. You can just try it out. And what I find for most people when I talk to them is they start to feel really good, like even after a week. And then it naturally, you pick up new ideas and you just carry on from there, you know? It's good. Brilliant. Oh, past it, yeah. Oh, yeah, you make yourself useful. <laughs> yeah. I think he was talking to me, not you. <laughs> no, no, but you can do it. <laughs> I'll, let the, I'll let the pros do that. And what did you put in there before, Mark? So just a bit of vegetable stock in there. But you, I mean, you can just put water in there if you want. OK, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. And the thing I was going to say, too, we were talking before, like, um, in this dish we've got some olive oil in there, but yep. a lot of people, if they're really going for the health aspect of plant-based food, they'll actually cut oil out altogether. And right. so... The big thing is, like, what do you do with the onions? So a bit of stock, if you've got a pan, um, just a bit of veggie stock will really help to saute them and sweeten them down without them burning, and that's, that's a really great trick for people who are Brilliant work. OK, cool. Yeah. Well, we will do a little more very soon, and also going to ask... I'm going to ask you some more questions about this challenge because I think okay, it's cool. probably something people will get into. And while yeah. we're cutting to that break there, Mark, what are you going to be doing? Yes, we've got the onions in here and we've got yeah. some more um, vegetable so stock. We're and we're all put stock. it all in. Yeah. So when I'm you're blending up blend cashews, it. you need a bit of liquid to really get it to sort of um, to blend. Yep. Nice. Keep going high, Steve. Yeah, go on. Hang it up. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, 
are here finishing off this vegan meal. We've got a fettuccine going and we're slicing the mushrooms. Any tips you can give us when slicing yeah, mushrooms? Yeah, what I'd say with mushrooms is we've cut them quite thick here today so that when they cook, and we'll, yes. we'll chuck a bit of oil in the pan there, yeah. we want to get them really nice and charred and caramelised so you get a really good flavour on them. But if you do them too thin, they get a lot of liquid comes out and then they kind of boil. So nice. when they're like this, you can chuck them in, get them really brown. Good. And so we're just really going to brown them off, yep. put some spinach on top and then pour the sauce on, heat it up and then it's good to go. So it's a really simple dish. And um, are you happy with the sauce, Mark? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Nice. <laughs> so it's, uh, you are, no, you? Yeah. I'm very happy. Um, no, it's, I it's really good. It's like you've got to try it because it is really, really creamy and you get that, you know, that beautiful mm. flavour from the yeast as well. You know, it's rich but without, yeah, you, you know, you're not, it's not sitting in your stomach. It's yeah. Good. It's, yeah, it's good. What right. if you don't have a fancy that. blender like this? Give me tips for us. So what I'd say about that one is if you soak the cashews maybe for a couple of hours first and then just blend it for a bit longer, in the end they will get quite smooth. Um, oh. Blender like this is really fast, really high speed, so it'll do it quite quickly even on dry cashews, but you nice. don't have to have that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Rightio, so everything's coming along nicely here. While we're looking at those mushrooms, you're doing vegan classes. You can go to your website to find yeah. out more about that. Yeah. Um, and, and this here in particular, I guess it's kind of like dry July, November, a month That's that right. people can yeah. jump on in give it a go. Well, it's kind of like signing up for a run or something. Yeah. You always have a challenge and then you get into it and you've got a team thing going on, you know, that tribal feeling, it's all makes nice. a difference. So. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, cool. Give it a go. Go on. Try it. easier than a marathon. Though. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people are caring about where their food comes from now. So you, Totally. Yeah, you know, this yeah. is good. It's good to give this so a go today. You see, we've got nice caramelisation going on there. Yeah. Um, I'll probably maybe just short circuit the process slightly today so we're not taking too long. So let's just chuck... Cool. Some spinach on there, maybe a splash of water just to give it like a little bit of steam that'll help to just get the, um, the spinach softened down. Nice work. And have you got a new book out? No, not yet, although I am, uh, people have been asking me about a vegan cookbook and so the thing is I'd like to really make sure I've got recipes that relate to everyday New Zealanders really well and I want to go out and do more cooking with people before I would try and do that. So, yeah, go, you've yeah. got everything going on, haven't oh, well, you? Yeah it's, yeah, it's fun, it's good. I mean, the whole sort of plant-based movement these days is really taking off. People are really... Um, Nice work. Pretty okay, so we're getting pouring. into it. Oh, that looks amazing. Awesome. Should have tried some of that. Oh, we're going to eat it later. So really, we're just going to sort of let that um, heat up yep. and cook for only like five minutes or so. So okay, we'll just cool. plate it up once the pasta is ready. And it's a, kind of a simple dish that anyone can make. And I think most people for a family dish would find it pretty enjoyable. It's Brilliant good. work. Okay, yeah. I'm really enjoying this. I can't wait to taste it, which I will do towards the end of the show. We'll see the finished product very soon. Yeah. And talking of food, I can't wait to try Aaron's vegan cream fettuccine. How's it turned out, guys? You happy? Really good. Yeah, totally. I think it's a good proof that, you know, eating this doesn't have to be a compromise on taste. It's there you go. Delicious. Yeah. Oh well, I, I'm looking forward to tasting it. Nice Look work. That. Well, that so looks creamy. good. Looks like creamy, creamy. Nice. I know. Funny, eh? Creamy yeah. fettuccine. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Yeah. All nice. Lots of salt and pepper on top too. I yeah, good. I like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I Sweet. There you go. Take that yeah. over. Nice guys, bring it over. Nice work. Thank you, Aaron. Well done.